Hi, everyone. And so um, let me give you the online assignment um, for this week. Um, hold on a second. Hopefully you can see this for Wednesday, October 27th in the healthcare ethics class. You'll recognize that this is the case that we worked on in class on Monday. We didn't get quite finished. So I'm going to ask you to follow up for the online Wednesday assignment with um, some questions here. Um, I'm giving you this Wednesday actually evening. So let's make this uh, assignment due by the end of the day on Thursday, October 28th. Okay, so you do have 24 hours to do it. Um, you recall the case over here. It's also on your black on the Blackboard site. Um, and uh, we sort of talked about relevant facts in the case and some of the ethical issues. Uh, I'll tell you for now, we're going to eliminate this last uh, question here. Um, I'm going to come back to it uh, a little bit later on with another case. Uh, but I want to first tell you exactly what happened here and then want you to answer as for your online, act, uh, online assignment two questions. Should Dr. Carter be confronted by her decision? Um, by Cindy, who is her nurse, and then what would you recommend as next steps? But let me first tell you what happened. Um, in the end, as I discussed in class, um, all of the information for Linda was presented in terms of all of the options for treatment uh, related to her non-cancerous uterine fibroids, everything. But Linda asked a question of the physician. Um, how can I not have or ensure that I never have uterine fibroids again? And the answer is a hysterectomy, right? That's a 100% assurance. However, that comes with uh, the uh, also the notion that you're not gonna be able to have children again. And all of that is understood. I found out about this in after an ethics committee meeting uh, that I was a part of and Dr. Carter, now the names have been changed here, just so you know, Dr. Carter, um, you know, was sitting beside me and told me this story, uh, told me the story. And after she told me the story, and by the way, she did say that, you know, this patient has a new boyfriend, wants a student to start a new life with him. And, um, that she has delivered two of her kids from two different fathers. And at the end of the story, when I was going to, when I asked, you know, what would you recommend? Here's what Dr. Carter said to me, word for word. She said, I'm gonna take out this woman's uterus because she shouldn't be having any more babies, period. Now I was really surprised. I didn't feel at the time that I could ask any questions. I didn't feel like I knew enough about it. I absolutely wasn't going to challenge this physician. But I also suspected that there was bias there. Now, um, I think what I'm interested in is all of you answering two questions at this point. Should Dr. Carter be confronted about a decision? By your nurse. And what would you recommend as next steps? Um, that is your assignment here uh, for the online activity. I'm going to share with you, you know, what transpired afterwards, but at this point, should Dr. Carter be confronted about her decision, especially by the nurse? And what would you recommend as next steps? I was put in this position actually personally, so I'm interested to see what you would think and why. And I'll tell you what, for this response, um, which you can, again, I'm looking for a, see if I can manipulate this, uh, two to three paragraph response. I, I'm interested in you creating sort of a informed opinion. You don't necessarily have to supplement it with ethics theories, um, but I want you to include your rationale. What's your rationale? Not just what you think the recommended steps are, but why, and that's the rationale. The why is always more important. 
Okay. All right. Thanks, everyone. Um, again, due by the end of the day, Thursday, October 28th on Blackboard. Thank you. All right. Bye.